I'm Namrata from Bimi. My name is Bhavna. My name is Asta. Uh, my name is Mitali. Uh, my name is Prakash. Bimi and Think Tank has been associated for the past three years. They bought science through toys. Uh, and the trigger they set in the environment is uh, still alive after three years of the classes started and last year they uh, helped us set, a, set up the chemistry lab along with the children. The process being along with the children helped a lot in children taking ownership of the chemistry lab. And the kit they provided also was uh, more of a self-directed thing where the children could go and do the experiments on their own. And uh, though it is only uh, was provided only for the older children, I observed that younger children also get inspired from what was happening in their environment and taking cues from the environment and taking it on and doing their own experiment, asking questions and helping all, most of the children in BME, though they are, may not be actively participant of it. We've been working, we've been doing chemistry mostly. We've covered um, isotopes, basic atomic structure, um, and then molar mass and stuff. And it's mostly, uh, we do a lot of experiments and and then uh, I also enjoy doing some of the dis there are lots of discussions also so we just randomly pick up topics and just uh, talk about them and yeah that's what I enjoy doing a lot even I've been watching or experiencing the whole think tech thing for about a year uh, so yeah, we've done quite a few experiments, mainly we've, I've explored chemistry with them and uh, one of the things that, uh, I mean it's such a fun way of doing something that is not really enjoyable. I mean, normally people don't really enjoy this, at least as a student you won't feel like I want to study it. But this is one way where I feel like, I feel motivated to continue it, to actually do it. It is a very um, structured thing, but in a very easy to understand or go with. So, yeah, and I've enjoyed how much ever I've done. I'm still continuing with them. I hope everyone can experience this once. Vishal from ISPF has been uh, doing hands-on science uh, with BME for the last uh, three years now. This is the third year. Uh, initial first two years, he has been doing uh, uh, toys work uh, and uh, uh, he has set up a, a toys uh, a resource center wherein children can come in and make toys, different toys. Uh, every week he used to come and uh, uh, teach children how to make toys and then rest of the days uh, the resource center was open for children to uh, make, make those toys uh, for the rest of the week. Um, now off -lit, this year, uh, the, from last year, he has started working on uh, uh, chemistry part of the uh, science and uh, this year he has set up a uh, chemistry lab with children. So what I want to tell uh, about this is, it, the unique thing about this is uh, children are involved in setting up this lab. Uh, as a student of uh, like PU and uh, degree college when, when I did chemistry experiments, I always knew the, there was a lab set up and there was uh, some apparatus uh, uh, set for children, like for students to explore, uh, it it looked like a museum for me always, and I would always go and then do an experiment. So uh, particular things were given to us, and then I would do the experiment and then record observation and come. But the speciality of this is uh, children are involved in setting up the uh, uh, chemistry lab, and children knew what. Uh, chemicals are uh, okay to handle with bare hand what are what chemical what chemicals are not okay to handle with bare hands uh, all the precautions the children came up with the uh, uh, the rules to handle different chemicals and then the whole uh, chemistry lab was uh, the guidelines to use chemistry lab was set up by children along with children so 
Uh, I, I see uh, the, with the involvement, children have a lot more awareness uh, how to handle chemicals in a, uh, a safe way and then still do all the experiments that they need to do. There is a set of topics that we, do, uh, we have to cover but we still have the freedom to go at our own pace and stuff. So it's, it's a, uh, uh, we can spend time with each topic. So yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a very nice system and more children should be able to use it. It's a design, the children get an opportunity to, to explore uh, hands-on activities and being with material and exploring them and making with them, it really helps children to take it further. Uh, so that uh, way of designing things have really helped children or people, children are more interested in taking it forward or they look forward to the activities that or the workshops that uh, think that brings. I've been using these resources for quite some time and the main part I see, the main good part I see in this is, I, the good part I see in this is that when you're, uh, if you, you, get, you get a lot of resources and when you're using them, it's, you're doing hands-on stuff, so you can remember it very well. And we, uh, we, I, have, I have done a few experiments and uh, I've, I've used molar mass to actually implement, like, a, like molar mass is a very uh, heavy concept, so when you, uh, it's, it, and also it's like for a, it's a higher level concept. So, so in, uh, it's, it's also for me, it's like a little hard to remember. So then, uh, when I implement, when I use it in experiments, like I, molar, ma molar mass is just calculations of how much quantity of this element or this particular thing you're using. So I've used that in uh, my experiments and it's very easy to remember. I've practically done it. So after a month if you ask me, then uh, what, what reaction, like some, you name an experiment and you ask me what, why this reaction happened, why this element did this because of this, then I would remember it and I will be able to explain it very well. And uh, and personally, I enjoy I enjoy use I enjoy using it because you it's it's like it's like science when you, you they say it's very if men, it's this this image that is boring, uh, but then when you're doing experiments, it's a lot of fun. And like on YouTube, you get a lot of experiments. If you add uh, if you put vinegar and baking soda, you get a volcano. But but then the science behind it, like if you take the chemical formulas and you take the pH values and and why this reaction happens, then it's very interesting and you'll remember it like for a very long time. So that's that's what I like the most about the resources. There are so many YouTube videos about how you can do this experiment or something else, but. You never find the things or, you know, acids are not allowed, whatever. So we're doing pretty complex experiments that many people haven't done, but we're allowed to do it and in a very safe way. So it's not that we're ever hurting ourselves. It's always safe, but it's still easy and good. Last one and a half year, um, we have been having sessions from Think Tech in our uh, setup. So um, three things what I really admire from my heart is one is day-to-day -day, uh, material is being used uh, with children and then uh, through that toy and play science concepts are being introduced so that one thing which I like second thing what I want uh, to admire is chemistry that uh, always I felt that chemistry is not in day to day but the way uh, uh, the chemistry lab came up in BME uh, children were involved in labeling setting it up that was really that made chemistry part of their heart uh, and a lot of experiments and going in detail uh, with children uh, so facilitator also um, put in a lot of 
you know um, effort to uh, sing those concepts in so that part also I, I like so third is now science is part of entire B me means you see in one corner and children will be playing with plastic bottles and after some time if you observe that some toy will come up and they will try to rotate it and see so it has become a part of our day-to-day -day life those uh, hands-on activities we really loved a lot thank you so much